Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 58 Crossword Puzzle Part 3. It's a follow-up to Crossword Puzzle Part 2 which I have opened on my computer now. Make sure all the layers are locked. Open the Actions panel up and down the bottom here we don't want to just do a game over and we don't want this tally to be running while we're while we're doing our puzzle. So in front of each of these lines put two forward slashes. There, 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 and there. And right in here we're going to put a button. We're going to write the code for a button. So type, 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 type. The button is going to be called check underscore BTN period add event listener small a capital E capital L turns blue open bracket mouse event capital M capital E that turns blue period click C L I C K is all capitals and it turns blue the commas black and I'm calling this function check C H E C K you can call it anything you want close bracket semicolon function F U N C T I O N turns purple copy the word check paste it in here open bracket E V E N T small e turns blue colon mouse event you can copy mouse event and paste it in close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function and an open curly bracket and if we look down here we still have this this statement here but it's only going to come when we press the button and down here we need to put a close curly bracket in here somewhere close curly bracket and let's just test that right quick just to make sure oh, I have an error sure I didn't make the button love this output panel select this top layer the die text layer uh, insert a layer call it check C H E C K B T N check button select that first frame and way down the bottom here on this diagram pick up your oval tool just click on that little corner there and you get this menu and I'm going to keep black for my stroke and red if you don't have it make it red or whatever color you want making an oval going up here highlighting it modify convert it to a symbol it's called C H E C K check underscore B T N make sure button is selected here copy that right click copy it open your properties panel while it's highlighted and here paste it in for an instance name now double click on it and we're inside the button call this button btn insert a layer call it text text -E pick up some color here I'm gonna pick up black and pick my text tool make sure static text is selected here static text 15 points is good and I'm going to write check C H E C K pick up my selection tool and bring that down and put it inside here back to scene one and now that should work for us control test movie test that's good and all I want to do is make sure this doesn't run until I press it so here I got an M E N and I'm going to do R I N G S and when I press this button this should tell me I have two wrong that would be games in theory and it tells me that two incorrect so you can go through that whole procedure and check to make sure that's right I've done mine so I know it works right now we want to write the co code that if the total equals zero so let's get rid of these two forward slashes get rid of these two forward slashes I don't need this trace at all and let's get rid of this and in here I want to say something if if the total is zero that means we got them all right 
So let's go down here where I have this big long string and get that whole thing including the semicolon at the end. Right click, copy that. Come in between these two curly brackets, paste it. And we're not going to say you have, we're going to say something else. So blank that out and write a L L oops I want to put my cap locks on A L L all correct all words W O R D S all words C O R R E C T and I don't need that period okay no errors so that looks good now we gotta say that so if that's not true that's when we're going to display this so here after this curly bracket Put an enter, write else, E L S E, and here put a open curly bracket. And I believe I need one more closed curly bracket here. Okay, so let's try that. Test movie test. And let's do the, I got my cap locks on, M. E N, oops, N, and I'm going to check it, and it's going to say three incorrect, just because I haven't got them done. R, I N G S, rings, this A, this M, this E, this S. That's going to tell me now. There's still one more to go, and there's the T, the H. O R Y and this time it should say all words correct. Now gotta do a little bit of house cleaning and we're finished. Lock all the layers, select that layer called check button, insert a layer, call it fill, as in F I L L. I'm still got them cap locks on. Select lock all the layers here's the words layer let's make this so we can see these for a minute let's make this 50% uh, so I can see it every bit of it I want this these two layers here these two here the grids horizontal and grid vertical unlock them selection tool highlight it so you capture all of those two layers get the cross here somewhere there right click copy lock those two layers unlock the fill layer select frame one come down here paste in place now we want to fill all these in black the ones we don't want to use so select the fill bucket and the fill bucket is here and click 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 like that you can do that or you can select the rectangle tool with a black stroke and a black fill and do whole sections at a time like this whichever you find easier I'll fill mine in and I'll come back I have all mine done I'm locking my layers I'm keeping these two grids horizontal and vertical intact in case I want to use them in another in another crossword puzzle somewhere along the way make sure all the layers are locked select this fill layer insert a layer and call this clues C L U E S and I'm picking up my text tool and I'm making sure I have static text and I have 15 points and I'm using this left uh, lined format normally it's set at this one I'm using that one and what I did was I made some text boxes here I'm just going to paste mine in save some time paste I have one that says down I have one with my down clues I have an across and I have this one with my across clues and if I magnify them we're going to see what they are two and a half that's men the hunger games Lord of the Rings Big Bang Theory that's my clues for my words I'm going to put that back to 
now if I got clues I need to have some numbers to match these numbers so make sure all the layers are locked select the clues layer insert a layer call it numbers N U M and I'm picking up my text tool I'm going to make this about a hundred percent it's easier to see and just so that these letters right now don't get in my way um, the words layer right here I'm gonna click this little square here and it see how it turns them lesser dark color so I'll be able to see my my numbers text tool I still have static text selected and still have 15 font and here I'm gonna put it a one gonna do another one with a one make one another one this one has a two so I'm making them all at once two and if you had three four or five words you would do that there's a two so this would be here and you see these dotted lines going up and down I'm putting it so that my dotted lines run on these two planes I'll, I'll move that and you'll see what I'm talking about again if I drag that here there there's where I want it so that's my two same with this one there they are right there and this one here goes here that's pretty well lined up and I have this two now to come down I want to put it somewhere where I don't lose it that would be this one here that's my big bang theory okay so now a trick I naturally, I'm locking all my layers. I naturally don't want to see these words. That would be ridiculous. There's, there's no game if you can see those words. So instead of removing them, I'm going to select those, this layer here, which is the words layer. See this? Double click on it. This opens up and make it a mask. Click mask. OK. They're still there. They just won't be ever seen. Let's try this out test movie test hopefully no errors down one down two and a half men men M E N uh, let's go across one Lord of the Rings R I N G N S Lord of the Rings two down the Hunger Games, G A M E S. Oops. G A M E S. And if I checked it now, it's going to tell me I still have one wrong, which is two across, which is Big Bang Theory. T H E O. R Y and if I click it all words correct that's good I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn